here's what happens when a contour ditch, a tr it's truly on a contour, meets a tree, which is not gonna move. Well, I go around it and then keep right on going on the other side. That could be called an aqueduct, I guess, a rather peculiar aqueduct. The reason I've got the rope to it is because the pigs are here, or the pigs come periodically, and they're not going to leave something like that alone. They're going to nose it around for the time being. It's, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's all just so temporary. Every day I'll have to refix it. But uh, I can tell you more about this situation. The, uh, of course, if I just pick that end up, well, that'll shut it off. Uh, I, I suppose you understand that. Now, this is hard, hard digging here. I've got the pick. There it is. I had to go to the pick. That's bad when you have to go to a pick. But anyway, <clears throat> this top one, because this ground, as I've often said, it's like cement almost. And then it, it'll turn soft real quickly if it's, if it's moistened. Uh, in other words, that second uh, ditch down, what I'm doing there is I'm, I'm making this as a true contour, but earlier I just ran it slightly downhill just to try to get that hillside moistened some. But this being the top ditch, I've got to, uh, it, it, there's nothing to moisten it unless we'd have a really good rain. And I'm hoping to make it, I might have said this before, I'm hoping to make it above that walnut right there. That it's, that walnut's out about 20 feet. If I can't, well, that'll still be the right height because then I'll have the maximum head to go down over the water wheel. It'll be a, a pitchback water wheel, and I've, I've discussed that elsewhere. But as it is, I mean, if I just open this and let the water go, the water will run all the way to the wheel but it would have no head to mount to anything. It would have no, no height, so no power. I'll say more about the wheel later. Maybe I'll dig just a little bit to show you what, and I'll show you what this looks like from below. <laughs> the cat's inspecting. All right, well, the second ditch down, that I did with just a shovel. In the, oh, half hour, maybe an hour, that the water's been running there, it softened that ground. But not this upper one. I had to use the pick. Now it comes up in chunks, I'm glad to say. And it moistens itself just a little bit ahead of itself. But I'm probably going to have to do a lot of picking here. There you can see that, that my uh, piece of pipe is, uh, and it's unperforated. It's just, it's just about level, you know. When I'm, I know that the pigs are done messing with it a lot. I'll lay it up on some stones and make it more permanent. But you can see that's level. Uh, while I'm standing here, why don't I show you that that new ditch that I just started three days ago, this one right here, it's leaking in a few places. But I've brought it over to here, where in effect this little tiny gully from stuff washing out, it'll catch that and turn it other ways. Why the water is so muddy is because I've been digging in it. <clears throat> there's a pretty good flow. You can see there's a pretty good flow to this ditch. Well, that's because I've got the end of it maybe too far open, uh, but it's running out toward the water wheel. Oh, what else to show you? I'm not sure if the... Oh, oh, I know what I can show you. The... Uh, you can see the difference between level. That upper one is now level. And uh, before, I was running the water in the, in the second one down. To, I went past the tree, but on the ground, cause I, and I was running on the uh, second one down. And that's the one that I'm now going to put it on a level as well. But you can already see that I've probably gained maybe six inches of height by keeping it level instead of letting it go downhill. Here you can see that the water has reached basically the, yeah, the, the base of the uh, water wheel, but it would do no good there, <laughs> there because it's lower than the water wheel by the time it gets there. Now this ditch, these were real easy. They, they just took a little scratch with the corner of the uh, 
the hoe to get them started. Uh, you know, when they're going downhill, it's like that. This one also is going downhill. But I, I did want to show you one, one more thing. In advance, I, I don't know how much the pigs are going to mess with this when they come back from the pasture, but in the morning, or tomorrow, that ground right there where, you see I'm taking this onto a perfect contour, uh, it'll be softened by the fact that I've, I've opened a little bit of a hatch here. That'll soften that. And uh, same thing here. Uh, I'm, I'm taking this on a perfect contour instead of dropping it. And because of that I've opened a hatch, but I've got to open it a little deeper. I can see. Or I may actually have to open it over here to soften the ground ahead so that I can dig without having to use the pick. Alright, that's probably enough. What do you say, Tux? Good enough?